girls, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a tag video, um, which has been highly requested by a lot of people on my Instagram, Facebook page, and on YouTube um, comments on my videos. So a lot of people have been wanting to know like who I am, things about me, what I enjoy, what I like, just 50 facts, random really, about what. Um, I would like to tell you guys. So if you would like to see that, then just keep on watching. Because I had so many things to write, I actually had to make a list. So start off with um, my full name is actually Mandy Psembi, but everybody usually calls me Mandy because it's just simpler to pronounce and understand. Okay, I am a Virgo, so I do like to be quite a perfectionist at the same time but there again I do have um, my bad side where I do get quite vicious and tempered and things like that so um, I'm seriously seriously obsessed with spending money if I go into a shop if I see anything I want it I'll just look at it and I'm like I want it I won't even look at the price tag I'll just try it on or whatever it is whatever it may be I'll just pick it up and I'm out the door which is really bad. The first thing is that ever since I've been little, probably about the age of five I think, I've never actually clicked with like girls, like being friends with a lot of girls. I've actually kind of been brought up with being friends with guys and getting to know them and like not in that kind of way but just in kind of like a friendly way. I've never actually just clicked with girls, I've kind of got along with guys um, a lot more better and um, it's just kind of like the way I am. I love like, as you guys can tell, I'm quite talkative and stuff. So it's just that I just found girls were very like, sorry for swearing, really excuse me, that they're very bitchy. So I just didn't like the way that they were. And um, guys are just really simple. They're like, oh, not bothered and saw this stuff. So I've just always at such a young age got along with guys. And I've always had guys who have been best friends and just, all through school and all through uni and just till now I've just always had like guy friends not that many girls I obviously do have a couple of my girlfriends but not as much as the guys so the next thing is I <laughs> really embarrassing but when I was in sixth form I got so I'm 23 now so it was like five years ago no three four years ago I got an award for Miss Chatbox 2009. I know it was really, really embarrassing. Um, obviously, we had to like kind of vote for all these different categories that our year had presented to us, and everybody voted me Miss Chatbox. So I was presented with a proper like. Um, like the ribbon that goes around you and a certificate so it's really okay. embarrassing. Okay, next thing is that I am currently studying at Coventry University which is probably just about 10-15 minutes drive from my house so I'm quite lucky. Now I'm doing um, computer science. I've already studied a foundation year in engineering, business and maths so from then I just got into obviously because I wanted to do computer science Ever since I was young, I loved everything to do with computers, so that is what I went into from that. Okay, and I am a vegetarian. I've been a vegetarian for a very, very long time. Probably about 18 years of my life. So there was no really sudden to why it happened. It just, just came upon one day, so I just didn't really like... It's not like I don't like people who eat meat around me or if... Um, someone's eating it I will get all funny or I, I cook it and everything but I just will not eat it and that is the only thing but I have nothing against nobody eating it or nobody doing anything with it well they're going to eat it obviously but yeah <laughs> there's nothing to do with that so you yeah. think what you're on about but a lot of people can relate to this but I never ever ever used to like makeup when I was young I never liked it I never used it I never knew even what it was um, since about probably the age of 16 I'd say I started to kind of know what like mascara was what eyeliner was what like all these hot tools were and like to style your hair and get all glammed up and like put lipstick on and like 
like come home and then rub it off your face and your parents don't see you and stuff like that obviously I never did that but yeah um, just kind of things like that so I never even knew what makeup was and now I look at myself thinking god I'm a makeup junkie and I never even knew what it was before but I love it and well this is something that is a passion of mine I will continue to obviously carry that on through my life so um, I'm 23 years old and my birthday is in September, the 3rd of September, and I was born in the um, year 1990. I'm sorry this is in a random order, I've just kind of just done questions as I've thought about them and stuff like that. Okay, I live in the United Kingdom and I live in a town called Coventry, which is in the West Midlands. And it's not a very big town but it's home I love it I wouldn't choose to live anywhere else and hopefully one day if I do get married I would like to stay in Coventry um, my favourite colour colours shall I say are red and purple I love red I just think it's such a happy colour such a nice vibrant colour and just brings a smile on my face all the time and purple is just such an elegant beautiful colour and um, I like to have wearing purple lipstick today so yeah I really, really do like red and purple a lot so that's my favourite colours okay I bet you guys haven't noticed or have noticed this but I can be really really stubborn if I kind of say I want something or if I want to do anything or anything like um, I get quite like abdomen about something I will do it there and then and like, I will get my way <laughs> to like because I'm the youngest out of the family I will literally get my way I will it be my way or no way basically but it's not like I'm like evil or anything like that or a nasty person it's just obviously I've always got my way ever since I've been little because I've always been spoiled so yeah I tend to be quite stubborn <laughs> But I'm not anymore. I used like I I used to be, and I am. But it's kind of going away now as I'm growing up and stuff. So, and one thing is, and I've had it for such a young age. I have got a really, 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 really times a million bad temper. I will get really angry and literally like punch the walls. <laughs> not really, but I will literally get really angry. I don't know why. Just the tiniest little thing can just make my fuse go and I would just kick off and I always I just don't like people who walk over me or say anything I'll just say it to them how it is I don't I'm not a suffering silence person if I've got something to say I will say it I won't like look back and think oh I should have said that I just like tell them on their faces and I do have a very very high like temper and I do get angry really easily and quite quick so that's something that I will want to work on and obviously not get so mad <laughs> like I always have been um the next fact about me is as I said to you again because of my temper and stuff I've got a, a really in a good way I think it's in a good way it I've got a really good tendency of saying it how it is I don't like beat around the bush don't go around the corners don't like hit in the shortcut ways I just say it what it is meant to be or what it is like so I just I won't like say oh like for example not like oh the dress doesn't look nice or or that doesn't look nice or he's horrible and nothing like that I mean in terms of the way the the world is going like family issues or just stuff like that if something's got to be said I will say it that's just the kind of person that I am um, I've got a very strong personality so if something has to be said I would obviously open my mind say what I need to say I don't leave stuff on my chest a lot I just kind of let it out and just say it how it is okay um I have a lot of fears in life really do I know um, I'm scared 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 of water now the reason for this is when I was like five I used to go swimming lessons with my brother and I drowned stupidly because the flow actually fell off my arm because it was too big and my arm was like that tiny then and like it fell off it and then I drowned and that was the worst thing of my life so I hate water but I really want to go to a tropical island I know it sounds really stupid and another fear that I have is oh my god I will literally scream the house down I won't even stay here I hate spiders I hate 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 spiders oh just thinking of it makes me want to cringe I don't know why I just hate spiders 
and I will from the tiniest thing even if it's like so small like a penny size I will get it out of the room and I will not sleep in my room until it's out there and I just hate 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 of and I'm also really really scared of heights god like st the thought of a jump bungee jumping from like an aeroplane just makes me like have a heart attack, I really, really I'm scared of heights, I just don't, I'm not like a Drayton Manor and Orton Towers person that goes there and sits on the big roller coaster rides and all that, no, that's not friend me. is a guy, okay, as I said to you, I do obviously get along with guys quite um, a lot, and I've always, as I've gone along through life, always had best friends, who have been girls as well, but guys mostly, so I just wanted to obviously tell you that like I'm quite open minded and um, I do again get along I get understand guys more they understand me more more than girls do because girls just want to talk about each other and I don't really like that kind of stuff and um, my re my religion is I am Sikh so um, Indian so I love 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 God, my religion, go to the Gurdwara, which is the temple, all the time. I love being who I am. I love being Sikh. I just love going to the Gurdwara every every other day and just love going to see God. I'm really religious in, like, obviously, to a certain extent. Like, I will pray to him, like, every other day. And, yeah, I know he's always there watching over us and he does give us so much life. I've got no thing against nobody else's religion because everyone is equal, everyone is the same. And, obviously, at school we were, we were taught all different kind of things. So, yeah, um, everybody welcome into our community and so are we to others. So I do, do not see any difference in anybody, but I am really proud of what I am today and yeah we'll always be proud of being a Sikh okay um songs so songs I kind of like but I don't know most of you probably won't know what they are most of you do my Asian subscribers will or people who have just tuned in I mostly hit listen to Bangla music and that is something that I passionately love I have just recently done a hair and makeup on um a singer called Manpreet Sandhu and Abby Baines, she was the model and I did her hair and makeup and that video I will list below if you would like to check it out, so I just did the makeup and hair for both the singer and the model in there itself, so yeah, I do love of every single song. Gary Sandu is my ultimate favourite if you guys do know who he is. He's just, oh, I just want to meet him. One day I will. But I got a phone call the other day and um, the producer said to me, oh, we've got another song out. Would you like to do the hair and makeup for it? I was like, yeah. And they were like, guess who the singer is? And I was, I was just going to ask that. And they were like, Gary Sandu. And I was like, oh my god. And they were like, are you still there? I was like, yeah. I just love him to death. He is my favourite, he's so, so, oh, good looking, so yeah, um, I am currently single at the moment, I just kind of venturing in life, I'm just busy with my business and university and talking to you lovely people and it's just, I just, I'm just so busy with like my friends and stuff, it's just too much hassle kind of getting into a relationship and I'm only a baby yet, so I just think to myself, still got to play the field. Um, my favourite animals are, I love rabbits, I've always wanted one, um, hopefully we'll be getting one soon. My dad just doesn't want to get me one because he's like they're too messy but I really really want one in the bedroom and also love dogs, we've had about eight dogs in our um, house and oh they're so cute, I really want to get a chihuahua next which is like a really more dog that does not grow and it's so cute and then the really fluffy ears and all that oh god I'm getting carried away okay stop <laughs> so yeah I love them and I love horses I've always wanted to ride a horse which is one thing that I want to do in my life okay um this is a really weird fact but I've got like favorite smells I love the smell of petrol oh my god I love love the things and but it's my 
Bart Simpson is my number one favourite character and he always will be and every day and I know I feel like a baby but I do watch The Simpsons every day all the time I've all the box sets I even watch it in my bedroom all the time and I love it and also the TV show that I do love that used to come on if any of you guys remember comment below I'd love to know is Saved by the Bell and oh my god Zach Morris was so cute he was absolutely adorable and oh him and Kelly just made such a nice couple so yeah, they were two of my favourites. I can speak are uh, obviously English. I speak Punjabi, which is what um, Asian people speak. I can speak some Hindi as well, which a lot of Hindu Gujarati people speak. I can speak a bit of Gujarati. I can understand it fully, but speak a tiny bit of it. And also German as well. And then I've learnt French at school as well. So it's a bit of a mixture there. Um, the things that I can't live without is my makeup, my handbags, I've got four designer handbags, I've got three Louis Vuittons and one Chanel and I've also got um, a Louis Vuitton zipper purse as well and I cannot live without my car, my beautiful car that takes me everywhere I go I love it, I just get my keys and I'm off, I'm off on my little adventure where I'm going to uni or ever out with my friends and just love my car and most importantly, blessed with such a nice family and I love them to death and my friends okay, I've always wanted to do one thing in life as well I've always wanted to play the piano or the violin I just love the piano and the violin the way it sounds like whenever you go to a spa and they're playing the music and they've usually got like the violin on or the piano and like sometimes I'm in my room and I like need to unwind I always put that on and oh it's just so nice just relaxing and just calm and I love it um I don't drink or smoke I hate people who drink and I hate people who smoke oh I just don't like stuff like that um my goal in life is to like further my business like get it into like maybe a salon one day and then obviously keep my um freelancing keep going on the side as well because that does get quite popular and um i would like to feature in an asian bride magazine one day as well hopefully some kind of get in there and um just help you guys continue to help you guys hopefully reach maybe a hundred subscribers one day as well that'll be really nice and um yeah so the next thing is one thing in my life which is every morning when i get up the main thing is my life and what i do on a daily basis is i love giving like it's just something that i love doing it's something about me that i love doing and all my friends or just to fight and all my family I just give 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 I don't matter what it is when it is I just love seeing a smile on someone's face that smile on someone's face is a million pounds to me it just fills my heart up with every happiness in the world and seeing a smile on somebody's face seeing that I've helped somebody and oh, I just feel like it's such a nice thing and I do obviously help people with cancer quite a lot and um, I did a charity event with my company for Breast Cancer the other month and we raised £250 so a lot of people don't actually give that to charity they take it home what they make and then they just give the um, money off the table that they hire to do their stall on so I gave everything to charity so I just thought that was really like nice of them to hold that and I'm really thankful to present it okay um, my dream holiday is to go to New York. I always wanted to go there and um, kind of like see New York because I've heard so much about it. Um, my favourite season has got to be summer. I love summer. I think it's beautiful. Get all the dresses out, slippers, and just it's nice to go out and the days are lighter, which I do love. Um, I'm going to tell you a bit about my family, okay? There's obviously my dad, my mum, who's passed away when I was one and a half. And then I've got two of the sisters, so there's three of us. And we also have extended family that live in the house as well, which is my uncle, my auntie, and I've got two brothers and a sister. And then my older brother's married. But I class them as my brother and sister anyway, because we always live together. So that is my beautiful family, which I love, love, love to death. I always have everyone, they've got two dads and a mum. <laughs> um, I love eating crisps. That is my thing to go to. I hate chocolate. I love crisps. Um, I'm five foot one. I've always been short from such a young age. Ever since I was little, the doctor used to always say, 
she hasn't grown a lot, she hasn't grown a lot, she ain't gonna grow, she ain't gonna grow. Um, I hate, I hate, hate, hate the sight of milk. I just hate the taste of it, but I don't know why I love milkshake. Banana milkshake, oh my god, I love it. Um, my favourite time of year is gonna be Christmas, because it's, oh, it's time of family, it's time of forgiveness, it's time of fresh start, it's just about presents, being together, warmth, and I love it, and... Another thing about me is I love my family, they are my heart and my soul and without them I wouldn't be where I am today. Um, my favourite drink is going to be Vimto and Yazoo Banana Milk Shake. Public speaking is my biggest enemy, I hate it, although I do talk for England, I just hate it. <laughs> um, I don't like enclosed spaces, I find that really claustrophobic and I find like, I get really agitated and anxious and I don't really like that kind of, I don't like lifts and stuff like that. Um, I am a morning baby, so I was born in the morning, but I am a night person, so I'm like a night owl. I'm up till like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, and I get up at like 8 o'clock and I'm good to go. But I've always just kind of been that all night person because of uni and stuff, so, and because of my bookings, I go in the morning, like whenever I come back at like 9 o'clock after they're all ready and stuff. Um, I have my own beauty business which you guys know about, which is MK Hair and Beauty. I will list everything in the down box below. Um, I was born on a Monday. I have a thing for handbags, which I've told you I've got five designer pairs, and I uh, get emotional really quickly. So anything touches my heart, and I literally start crying. Um, I got really touched by some of your comments the other day, and it really did fill my eyes up with tears. I'm just thankful for everything that you guys have done, and yeah, it's just so sweet. Um, I'm s another thing is, I'm so thankful that I've met all you beautiful people on here. You guys have been so nice. I just can't, words can't describe how nice you have been. I just want to obviously say, um, there's, there's, there's a, another YouTuber on here called Makeup with Aggie, and she is so sweet and down to earth. She's the most amazing, like, YouTube person I've ever met, and I just think she's so beautiful, and her tutorials are mind blowing. She just helped me so much through my journey now, and I'm so thankful for her that I've met her on the way. I will list her channel below. Please do subscribe and please do go and check out her channel. She is phenomenal, and she's an amazing person. She's so down to earth, and yeah, just. I would love to meet her one day as well. For everybody who has stayed right to the end to watch 50 Facts About Me video and I hope you guys have got to know me a lot more better and if you have any questions that you want to ask then just put it in the comments box below and I will answer it. Anything that you want to know about me that I haven't already said and thank you so so much for watching. I'm so sorry this video has been long but I just try to get as much information in as I can. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please do thumbs up if you would like me to do any more tag videos and please also do subscribe and like and I shall see you guys on my next video. Take care!